Today is Tuesday, April 4th, 2023, and we are entering the Sandwich Wilderness. We're about 3.8 miles in to a attempt on North Tri Pyramid via the slide. I think it will be okay. So we're the first people to come out this way in a while. You can see a little bit of trough. The snow is very supportive. It's got soft, grippy snow on top, but I think we'll be good. We are carrying crampons and ice axe and wearing snowshoes right now. It's overcast, a uh, chance of some precip this afternoon, but it's gonna be warm. I think 45 at the base and like upper 30s on North Tri Pyramid, which I was a little concerned about how soft things would be. So far, so good. Oh wow, look at those fungus. I'm not sure where the trail is here. But look at those. Very big. On a snag. All right, I think I'm right on the trail. So we have started climbing the slide, but we're way down at the bottom. But because there's snow on it, you can see all the way up to the top of it, which is pretty cool. We are following a snowboarder. They took like a serpentine route down, so <laughs> we'll be taking a serpentine <laughs> route up, I think. Yeah. We'll see. And we just came out of the woods a little bit down there. It's quite steep, it doesn't really look it. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, I think we'll be okay. We're in snowshoes. And I, I, think, in snowshoes. I think I'm gonna stay in snowshoes. I think the snow is good. So we'll see. Quiet day. Okay, so we're climbing up the north side. Doesn't look too bad, I think, as you look up it. If you look to the side, make a sense for how steep it is. Oh, sometimes feet slip, and sometimes they don't. Or a broke trail the whole way out here, so giving her a break. It's slow going, but it's not doesn't seem dangerous. It's just a lot of effort. a good part of the steep at this point you can see see all those out there down here is Laura it's very steep very difficult but I think from the top we'll be able to see the slide the whole way down it's just gonna it's gonna be really kind of cool <sighs> Oh, very steep. That's how steep it is. Right there. Well, that's it for now. We're probably maybe a quarter of the way up the slide. There's a nice view out to the Osceolas where we just were yesterday. Yep. That's the bottom. And there's John. It looks like he's going to take a line to the right, which 
is we don't climb that normally in the summer. I think it's usually wet. So we'll see what happens up here. Okay, we're still climbing. I don't know if you can tell it. There's a really nice view of the presidentials right there. It looks like the sun is shining on Mount Washington. Oh, nice. Kerrigan. Franconia Ridge right there with the snow. How far up are we? Did you About say? halfway. About halfway up the slide. This is looking straight across, so let's see. John's about five feet from me. It's been, uh, it got really tough, <laughs> really fast. Yeah. Really steep and slidey, a little bit of botting. Pretty views. Oh, that's a great view of the presidentials. It looks so close and so big. And I'm on the GoPro, it's like <laughs> a little tiny speck. Oh well. We are quite close to the top of the slide, thank the Lord. <laughs> and we're off a little bit to the edge. You might be able to see there's a cairn. Where is it? Right down there, somewhere. The trail actually, I mean, it's on a slide, so it's not really a trail, but they do have it marked. And it comes up sort of to the left-hand side, but out in the, in the open. We were out there, but we just cut across and came up through these trees. It's a little daunting. So there's Mount Tecumseh. There's some ice under there. There is a little bit of ice. Only up at the top, though. Mm. That's, that's treacherous. And it is. And then over here is Moose Lock. Osceola's, the Kinsmen's, yes, the Kinsmen's, Franconia Ridge. I gotta turn around the other way. Yeah, <laughs> careful, careful. There's Kerrigan. The edge of the presidentials, so Jefferson and Clay. Yeah, and I can see Eisenhower too. And then over here, right behind that skinny tree, is the Webster Cliffs. Tom and uh, Willie is sticking up. This is the Hancocks straight ahead. Behind that is the Bonds and the South Twin. And then Garfield is the point in the middle, way out. I don't think this shows how steep it is. Really freaking steep. Um, we wore snowshoes. There was a bit of botting. That could have been worse though. And a couple times I wondered <clears throat> if, if crampons would have been the better choice. I don't really Some think so. Some place you're punching through though. I almost thought like snowshoes, or so. snowshoes and maybe the ice axe? I don't know. I needed my poles though. I just dug, I, I just dug my poles in right. really far. So if I wiped out, I'd just be hanging by my poles. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're almost, almost out of the slide. And then we have to climb a short, steep area, which will not be broken because nobody's going up the slide. So, and then we'll be on, what is it? I don't even know. Is it Pine Bend that we bump into? Uh, or Scour? I can't remember. I think it's... I don't know. But then we're almost to the summit. Okay. It took us three hours to get here. Just I, as expected. Yeah. I thought it would take three hours. And <laughs> we've already gone the mileage it takes to get to the summit. But that's because we wanted, like, we, we zigzagged like, around down there. Meandered. Uh huh. All right, we're gonna keep going. Nothing to see here. Whew. Okay, so we made it up to North Tri Pyramid. This is, I guess, technically the summit. There's a little bit of a view out right now, just because of the snow depth. And 
over here, there's a view out towards the presidentials. Oh yeah, ooh, nice view today. Sarge North and the Moats and Wildcats and Carters kind of in the center of my screen. Bald faces in the center of my screen way out. Of course the presidential range. Looks like it's sunny over in Maine, doesn't it? And then right oh I don't think you can see it, but Franconia Ridge is right there. See, I can see the snow cap peak through the trees. Oh, nice. This is the junction of Sabaday Brook Trail. So as you can see, there's plenty of snow up here still. We're heading out to middle right now. We still have snowshoes on. The trail has been broken and packed down, but it has a fresh dusting on it. So nobody's been out here. I don't know since when. Saturday, I think. They had some stuff um, and it's botting up like crazy, but that's okay. Uh, we had originally planned to go up north slide and then over to middle backtrack and go out Scour Ridge. Ooh, did you hear that bird? Now I don't hear it. Um, but we decided since we're here, I mean, why not, why not go full send? So we're gonna go over to South Tri Pyramid and try to go out South Slide. Uh, for that, we're gonna put on crampons. It's not as steep or technical as the North Slide. It's got plenty of trees also, so I, I think it'll be okay. Um, and I glanced at it as we went by this morning and the trough looked not unlike this. So it's had some, some usage, but it hasn't been recently broken, but that's okay. That's our plan. This is the viewpoint from middle Tri-Pyramid, looking out at Pass Conway and Chikorua. White face, I guess, is right there through the trees. And then Musalak in the distance and Tecumseh in the foreground. Osceolas are kind of behind that tree. I can see Franconia Ridge really well from here too, but it's probably not showing up so well. So we're gonna head over to South next. We came pretty steeply up and then a little bit flat. And then to go to South, you gotta go down. And South is peeking up. I don't know if you can see it through here. Just a hop, skip and It's jump just away. right there. Actually, I think it's much closer to go to South from here from then to go to north from here mm -hmm. I think it's 0.7 to north and well, south you know. looks if you oh, look yeah, if right. you look at the peaks they're really it's twice as yeah twice as far to go north than right this, so. yeah so we'll be heading there in a minute we'll have a snack or lunch we got some new buds starting up here Spring is in the air. Lots of lots of bunny prints all over the place up here. There's some right here. They're everywhere. I haven't seen any other prints though. Some squirrel down low. But that's it. Alright, next thing be the south side. 
That's right. You know, it has slide in its name. <laughs> that means it's got to be yeah, so you put slide. You could it. just gl glissade down. <laughs> worst comes to worse. I mean, no. We've got wax butt, so that's true. Slide right down there. Okay, and we will check in on the south slide. This is the summit area of South Tri Pyramid, which is viewless, but actually. We came from right over this way, and if you just pop off, because there's all the snow, you can walk right out easily and you're up high. There are great views, I think, all the way to the Presidentials. And then over here, we got Sandwich Dome. No, the Osceolas. Right there, is it? Nope, Sandwich Dome. It's funny, they're kind of the same shape in my head because there's a little peak on the side right over there, which is, I think, Noon or Jennings. I don't know. Might be Noon. Anyway, that's Sandwich. And from here, we're going to head down to the slide. It doesn't start right away. We're going to keep our snowshoes on for a little bit because I think we're going to be breaking trail and the trail goes right there so we're gonna switch over when we get to the top of the slide to crampons and ice axe and hopefully have an uneventful and fast but not too fast trip down the slide All right so here's Laura she's coming down with her crampons on like a boss, not a care in the world. Yeah. Except I'm post hauling. Well, that's why we didn't wear them on the way up. Yeah. But it looks like they look like they got pretty aggressive spikes there, so that's good. Yeah. And it looks like it's not too scary. No, I don't think so. It's just. I don't know. I gotta throw all my pack and I'll be ready to go too then. Ah, we're now on the south slide. That sandwich dome right in front of us. We're part way down it. Crampons up there. <clears throat> it goes into the trees and it comes out again. So it looks like it's really short, but there's actually more. You might be able to see a little bit down there too. All right, I think it's definitely better using this. You see the Kate sleeper sign? I can't. Oh yeah, there it is, the new Kate sleeper sign. So we're kind of making a mess of this, but it's not really. It's kind of a hike at your own risk in the winter anyway, and I'm not overly concerned. All right, he's off. I gotta go catch him. Laura's making her way down. It's a lot faster going down than it is going up. For sure. You can really kind of just step your way down. You know what? This is not as steep as North Slide at all. Because yeah, it's not as steep either. Looking down at North Slide yeah. is a little terrifying. Just looking down it. Yep. Yeah. Nice work. <laughs> uh, there we go. So we're coming a little further down the south side here. It's it's pretty steep. Um, if we had on snowshoes, we would be sliding and falling, I think. Um, but it's with crampons. It's just careful steps. No concerns about falling or anything like that. Here's Laura back here. She's making her way. And it's... It's nice and steep. But not difficult at all. <clears throat> we came up this, this season, this winter. But did not do anything with the north side, so... I'm glad we decided to try to come down it. It's, 
it's fun, it's interesting. Some of these places are really quite treacherous when the, there's a rock here, over here, I believe that's steep. This whole area is just a steep slab. So it's, it's quite tricky to even come down it when it's clear, but with the snow, it's a matter of walking, walking on the snow. It's going to open up. I guess it will open up down here. So that's fun. South slide. We are still on the Mount Tri Pyramid Trail, the southern portion. And we switched back to snowshoes as soon as we got off the steep part. As you can see, hasn't had any action in a while, so we're ooh, punching through a little bit with our snowshoes, smoothing it out, and it's, uh, it's very soft, but not too bad with snowshoes on. It's not bodding particularly, so that's good. And I believe we should be less than a mile now from the junction with Livermore Road. And once we get there, it's about three miles of Livermore Road walking back to the car. So the excitement is done for today. And uh, it was fun. It was good. I don't think I need to go back up the north slide in the snow. I just wanted to do it. When the conditions were good and my take on that is that it's scarier I would say in non-snow conditions but because your risk of falling is, is greater than the kind of snow we had today you were not at risk of falling there was really no ice little bit of ice but we were able to go around it um, so you weren't really at risk of a of a sliding fall it was just a lot of work really <laughs> it's a lot of work anyway because it's a lot of elevation gain in a short amount of time but man when you are kind of breaking trail and your snow is botting up and your <laughs> your snowshoes weigh extra a couple pounds sliding backwards too. I didn't have all that much of that, but I let John go first for most of it. So in any case, coming down the south slide, I would do that again. Yeah, um, yeah it was fun and easy. Of course, we left the trail really <laughs> torn up. Sorry, people. But we've got a couple days of rain and warm weather coming. Plus, Nobody's, nobody's been out there. It's not really a something that's done in the winter all too often. And I don't think that what we did is that big a deal, particularly because if you were climbing up and you had uh, not snowshoes on, whatever your traction or non-traction is, you probably would like to use what we did. It's like big steps kind of cut in if you have snowshoes on you could just go anywhere on the slide so just avoid them if you want to that's my two cents and it was definitely the safe and fun way down 
So I think that's not gonna be it. I think I didn't actually map out how long this should be. I think 10.8, something like that. I don't know. Wasn't planning to come this route, so. Anyway, it was a, it was a fun day. We didn't see anybody today. Not even like, oh, we saw a dog walker this morning in the parking lot. That's it.